we're supposed to be twins. Twins. Right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming Netflix video game series. <laughs> Netflix is going all in on video game TV adaptations. So for this list, we're looking at the most exciting prospects in the works at the streamer. Do you think TV is the way to go for adapting games? Which one of these are you most excited to see? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Cyberpunk 2077 was not the game we all thought it would be. The anticipated RPG from CD Projekt Red came with numerous technical issues depending on which platform you played it on, and it burned a lot of the developers' goodwill. However, the world of Night City can still be a fascinating one. N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. Announced in June of 2020, Edge Runners will focus on the entirely new story of a street kid turned mercenary. The animated series is a collaboration between Netflix, CD Projekt Red, and renowned anime producer Studio Trigger. Kill la Kill's Hiroyuki Imaishi will direct, while Silent Hill's Akira Yamaoka will compose its score. We haven't gotten many updates since its announcement, but the talent attached definitely has us excited. Number 9. Hyper Light Drifter Adi Shankar is making a name for himself as a producer of great video game adaptations. He worked on Netflix's excellent Castlevania series and shows no signs of slowing down. In 2019, it was announced that he'd be bringing indie darling Hyper Light Drifter to Netflix with game creator Alex Preston. The game follows the Drifter, a swordsman suffering from an unknown illness that battles hordes of monsters. Preston drew from his struggles with heart disease as inspiration, but the game also draws from A Link to the Past and Studio Ghibli's Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Though we've yet to catch a glimpse of it, the limited animated series sounds like it will be action-packed yet emotionally resonant. Number 8. The Witcher Blood Origin Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh why, something of the kind dash by, turn left there. While Netflix's The Witcher is more an adaptation of the book series, it's impossible to separate it now from CD Projekt Red's monumental games. Announced in July of 2020, this prequel miniseries will show the creation of the first Witcher 1200 years before the events of the main show. <sighs> Fans should expect some interesting world lore, as we'll see a prominent elven population and the conjunction of the spheres, a cataclysmic event that brought monsters into the dimension. Declan Dabara, a writer on The Witcher, is serving as showrunner. Relative newcomer Sophia Brown leads the cast, which includes the always awesome Michelle Yao. Filming wrapped in November 2021, and the series will be coming to Netflix in 2022. You don't want my monster. You want me to kill yours. Very clever. Number 7. Pokémon Some Pokémon live alongside humans. <laughs> well, some can be found in the grasslands. No, this isn't another in the long line of animated Pokémon shows. In July of 2021, Netflix announced it was working on a live-action series based on the beloved Pocket Monsters. We still don't know anything about the plot, as the project was in early development when it was announced. Magmar! <gasps> a Magmar! <laughs> but Netflix is reportedly following in the footsteps of Detective Pikachu in how to bring the little creatures to life. As one of the most successful video game adaptations yet, we'd say that's a smart call. Lucifer showrunner Joe Henderson is also said to be attached, but it will probably be a while before we hear anything else about this project. Goodbyes, although not easy, can lead to brand new happy hellos. Number 6. Resident Evil Stand down or I'll shoot! Resident Evil has been getting a lot of love lately with various adaptations. 
Netflix released an animated series titled Infinite Darkness in 2021, and 2022 will see the platform release a live-action show with a twist on a familiar character. The story will follow villain Albert Wesker as he moves his two daughters to Raccoon City. By jumping across two timelines, we'll see the onset of the T-Virus as well as the outcome. <coughs> Andrew Dabb, writer and producer on Supernatural, will act as showrunner. Lance Reddick, gaming royalty to fans of Destiny and Horizon Zero Dawn, leads the cast as the iconic bad guy. We're all for a new take on this horror classic. Oh, what was that? Number 5. Devil May Cry What are you going to do with all that power, huh? No matter how hard you try, you're never going to be like Father. While Devil May Cry already received an animated show in 2007, the series' incredible style begs for another one. The project is another in production from Adi Shankar, who announced it in 2018. Word was quiet for a while until November 2021, when Shankar announced that the scripts for the eight-episode first season were complete. <laughs> Hit the road. It won't enter production until 2022, but it has a multi-season arc planned. While he hasn't given any story details, he did say that fan favorites Virgil and Lady would appear alongside Dante. We don't mind waiting a bit longer, and if it captures anything like the sleek violence of Castlevania, we'll be more than happy. Number 4. Assassin's Creed Shh, my love. It will be alright. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. We were all burned by the live-action movie, but that doesn't mean an Assassin's Creed adaptation can't work. Ubisoft and Netflix announced a partnership in October of 2020 that will attempt another live-action adaptation, only this time it will be a TV series. The deal will also lead to animated projects down the line. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! While no story details for the first series have been released, Jeb Stewart will write and serve as showrunner. Stewart previously wrote several action thrillers like Die Hard and The Fugitive, though more recently created Netflix's upcoming Vikings, Valhalla. A TV series is a much better fit to explore the historically rich franchise, so we can't wait to see what Netflix cooks up. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Number 3. Tomb Raider Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity is after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. Mm -hmm. As one of gaming's most recognizable heroines, Lara Croft has branched out to movies, shows, comics, and novels. In January of 2021, Netflix announced it was going to take a stab at the world of Tomb Raider. The animated series has made steady progress since then. The story is set after Square Enix's reboot trilogy that ended with 2018's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Powerhouse Animation, the studio behind Netflix's own Castlevania and Blood of Zeus, will work on the show. You work for Trinity. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it! Tasha Wo, writer of the upcoming Red Sonja reboot, will write and serve as showrunner, while Sonic the Hedgehog's DJ2 Entertainment produces. Last but certainly not least, Hayley Atwell, known for playing Peggy Carter in the MCU, will voice the icon. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Hey, shit! Laura, Trinity guards are coming your way. Number 2. The Cuphead Show With its graphics inspired by cartoons of the 1930s, Cuphead seemed like a prime choice for adaptation. That's exactly what Netflix thought as well, and the streamer announced its plans in July of 2019. The show follows Cuphead and his brother Mugman as they attempt to collect souls for the devil to pay off their own debt. <laughs> Since the show's announcement, we've gotten a handful of delightful screenshots and a teaser that revealed Wayne Brady as the voice of King Dice, one of the game's antagonists. As one of the only Netflix game adaptations with a release window, we're ecstatic to revisit Inkwell Isle in 2022. All the charm without the stressful boss fights. Sign us up. Stop it! 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Castlevania Spinoff She's a witch. These interviews were the one of the sciences, and the one thing that justified humanity's stench upon this planet. The Castlevania series is one of the best video game adaptations ever. That may not say much, but it's got terrific fight sequences and incredibly deep characters, all held up by fantastic Japanese-inspired animation. Though the series has ended, Castlevania will continue on. Netflix announced a spin-off series in June 2021. Well, I suppose I could have put up big signs all over the place. It will be set during the French Revolution in 1792 and will follow Richter Belmont and Maria Renard. Those of us who have played Rondo of Blood are thrilled about the choice of protagonists, but we're also hoping the spin-off pulls from that game's sequel, the cherished Symphony of the Night, which saw Alucard return. Regardless, if it's anything like the first series, this will be a bloody good time. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.